Whenever you buy a new computer or a laptop or any product nowadays, you start to appreciate the finer details. The details like the fact that ASUS made this for creators, professionals, content creators, photographers and video editors. And one thing that video editors and creators like myself are aware of is really nice albums and boxes and you know things that we, we generally used to in the creative industry. You know that unboxing experience makes it so worthwhile. They release a new product and you remember that first unboxing experience so you have to have that second one so you buy it again. This gives me that feel. So now we get to my favorite part, running the Pro Art Studio Book Pro X up against a 2019 iMac. And I'm gonna say fully spec because if you had to go to a South African store and purchase the top spec iMac that you can in 2019, this is what you'd have. But it's also got an additional 40 gigs of RAM that's been upgraded. And then we're gonna put it up against the 2019 15 inch MacBook Pro, also fully specced off the shelf. Now it's not the latest 16 inch, but it was the latest 2019 MacBook Pro that was out a week before the 16 inch came. But the point here is to compare it against something comparable. And even though I feel that these types of machines that we have are a little bit higher than the average person, photographer, or you know, video creators probably going to be working with on an affordable level. I think it's almost unfair to compare this with that because they are pretty optimized. So to give the most realistic real world test, I imported 795 photos of the exact same shoot onto all three machines. I applied exposure, shadows, deepen the blacks, temperature, absolutely everything, including sharpening, noise reduction, pretty much everything that tries to light up your computer when working on Lightroom. Then decided to take all of those settings edited on the first photo, regardless of how the second photo looked, and applied all those settings to 795 images. Keep in mind, this is sharpness, noise reduction, exposure, saturation, different colors pushed out. The max that you would wanna do in the real world on a photo and see which computer would apply those settings first. And these were the results. So the iMac pasted the settings in eight minutes and 40 seconds across 795 images. The MacBook did it in nine minutes and 10 seconds. And the Asus did it in eight minutes and 24 seconds. This laptop from Asus designed for creators beat a 50,000 Rand iMac with a RAM upgrade and a MacBook Pro. So I thought, well, what happens if we exported some images? So on a real world test, you would actually, you wouldn't even touch 795 images and you'd probably be closer to somewhere 500, say you're a wedding photographer. So we decided to export the same 500 images with all those settings applied. Bear in mind, all these images are coming out of a 36 megapixel camera in RAW. These were the results. The iMac exported it at 27 minutes and 22 seconds. The MacBook, 35 minutes and 35 seconds. And the Asus in 27 minutes on the dot. So basically when I got this Asus, I didn't want to put it up against the iMac, especially because I knew it had kitted out with 40 gigs of RAM, it's optimized. These machines run very clean. I really didn't have enough time to play with this laptop to do a lot of video editing. And in terms of that, I know I do use a lot of Final Cut on the iMac and the Apple kind of ecosystem. However, DaVinci Resolve is something I've played with and it's something that's actually on this. But I did not want to do a Final Cut versus DaVinci test. It's not really fair. So because I didn't have it long enough, I didn't want to do an unfair comparison and leave you in the mind of, well, what happens if you did X, Y, Z? So I do have another Asus laptop that I am going to be testing and I will definitely test it out. But if you have to ask me my predictions, if you are using DaVinci on some form of laptop, iMac, that's kind of specced around what I have, and you put it up against this, a 16 gig VRAM RTX 5000 graphics card is where this thing shines. These guys really went out, made something for creators. It's a powerhouse. It's not the world's thinnest laptop. It's not optimized to only perform at a certain temperature and then it overheats and cuts down. This thing is designed to work. 
So that's my first impressions on the ASUS Pro Art Studio Book Pro X. I have to say thank you to ASUS South Africa for sending this in to me for a review. Absolutely loved it. So wherever you are in the world, have a good day, good evening, good night. Goodbye.